Hello again, I am Blunty, and that... Well, that's Lara Croft, isn't it? Hello, Lara. Say hello. Oh, you're all in shadow. Alright, keep in shadow, because we're sneaking around. Okay, can we do this without spooking these guys? Hold on, I'll take a look. Yeah, okay. Bye. Is everyone dead yet? Nope. I screwed up. Screwed up! Okay, just, just let me, uh, just let me go ahead and take care of these guys for a second. Do, 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 doink, and uh, doink. Just, just, could you, could you just burn to death, please? Thank you. Okay. So, screaming, it's terrible. Yeah, the, the, the idea there is you, you got to be more stealthy and then blow them up with the gas. And, but I screwed it up because I, I wanted the salvage. Anyway, hi! <laughs> Everyone's dead now, and I am Blunty. And there's, hey, come down here in the light, Lara. Come down here in the light. Come say hello to the people. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, fine. So, uh, Tomb Raider. And the reason I'm playing Tomb Raider is... Oh, hello. What's this thing? I wanted that. Uh, the reason we're playing Tomb Raider here is because uh, I want to show off the new GeForce Experience thingamabobs uh, in the new beta GeForce Experience early access thingy. I made a video about this uh, already when they first announced it covering, you know, what to expect, but... Now it's actually ready. Oh, stinky smoke. Stinky smoke. Get away from the stinky smoke. Now it's actually uh, it's ready for testing. So, uh, now that the room's clear, I think we're pretty safe. We can start fiddling around a bit. So, alright. Alt-Z brings up the uh, the menu here. And from here, uh, it's all lovely. I mean, you can see for yourself, it's much, much better than the old way of having to dive out to the actual desktop app to change your thing. So, what you can do from here is you can turn on and off the instant replay function. So, that records the last, uh, you know, 5, 10, 3, 20 minutes of, of gameplay, and you can hit a button to automatically save it. All your shortcut buttons still work, so you can just slam a shortcut key and it will, you know, it'll save your instant replay or start recording. But you can also bring up this interface where you can turn it on and off manually. Um, which you need to do for various reasons. So if you went to this, we'll talk about streaming the minute, but you have to turn the instant replay off if you want to stream and all that sort of stuff. So it just makes it really, really easy to dive in there and turn the things on and off and, and start and stop recording if you want to there, if you don't want to use the hotkeys or whatever. But you can also dive straight into the customize and fiddle with the things without even leaving the game. So you can, you can change how much it pre-records, you know, your replay length. You can fiddle with the settings around here. You can uh, fiddle with the, you know, the resolution it records at, even all the way up to 4K. Uh, which is sweet. It works really well. I love, I've been using 4K recording stuff and using lots of things. Anyway, uh, frame rate, of course, you can fiddle with that. Uh, multiple of 60, because uh, that just makes things easy. You can even change the bit rate, so you can go all the way up to 130 megabits per second for ultimate super clean video, or, you know, 1080p at 60 frames a second, 50 is, is around about right. Um, you know, it's good economy balance. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not here to do a, a video tutorial and, and the pros and cons of bit rates versus resolutions. But as you can see, you can just dive in there and, and get to stuff really, really easily. Same thing for the record. Uh, pretty much exactly the same interface. You can fiddle with the resolution you're recording at, the in-game resolution, 4K or 1440, blah, 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 blah. Um, and the frame rate and all that sort of stuff. And your, your bit rate. Um, you can also uh, stream. This is a one-to-one -one stream. This is not broadcast. This is for going for, to Twitch and stuff. And presumably there'll be a, a YouTube gaming option in there at some point because that's a thing that, that happens now. But, you know, Twitch is the standard, so Twitch is sitting there. Um, you can also customize that so you can fiddle with what uh, resolution you're going out to Twitch at and, and make sure your bitrate is suitable and stuff and your frame rates and all that. You know, same thing all over again. Um, nice and easy. But this is, the, this is one of the new things. This is stream. And this is... Um, uh, really, really cool, actually. You can stream one-to-one. -one. You can stream direct to a friend. So you send an invite, and when you click that, it'll ask you to pop in an email. As you can see, my email's sitting there because I've been, I've been testing this myself. Uh, and you can put your own name in there to who it's from. Um, and you can send them an, email, uh, an invite. And they get an invite in their email, obviously, a little URL. You click on the URL, uh, open it up in your browser. You still a little plug in and, and suddenly you're streaming direct to that. And I've got, you know, I'm showing a little footage here that I've pre-recorded to try and uh, have a look at the latency. And we'll step through this frame by frame. You can see it's only a couple of, you know, one or two frames behind. It's really, really low latency. Uh, and the interesting thing is you can even share your control. So you can let the, the person receiving the stream, you can let them actually take over your game. So if you're having trouble with, with getting through a bit, you can, you know, call up your friend who's got more experience or is better at the game and let them hand out, have, have your controls. You can also, and I talked about this in the original video as well, where I went after the first announcement, you can also 
do streaming multiplayer. So if your game has a local multiplayer uh, uh, option where, you know, two controls to one computer, you can actually, this is, you can do it across the internet now, uh, which is really, really awesome. The, as we talked about, the, the latency is pretty good. Um, you know, it's, it's really, you know, you can, act, can actually play it live. And my internet, by the way, Australian internet is a bit rubbish. Your mileage may vary depending on sort of the upload and download bandwidth you've got available to you. Uh, but it looks a bit ragged and, you know, it occasionally frees up. And I should point out that on the day I was recording this, I was having some issues with my own internet as well. <laughs> I've, had, I've done other tests over the days that have gone a bit smoother than this, but you get the idea. What I'm, what I'm saying is you get the idea. You should try it for yourself and see how it works for you on your connection because uh, everyone's going to be a little bit different depending on how their internet connection behaves for them. Uh, so no worries there. But yeah, it's really, really cool and I really love that feature quite a lot. All right, so I've just I've dropped back down to the desktop here. I've closed off the game because I want to show you. It works here too. It works in the desktop. Same thing. Uh, it works in, I think, every game I've tried so far. Ever. It's worked straight away. Uh, it is still... Early access beta, so it is occasionally a bit buggy, like uh, a couple of times I've gone to send the invite. Uh, okay, so I'm not running a, a game full screen, it doesn't want to stream the desktop for, you know, uh, whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, the, a couple of times I've, I've brought that up and, and haven't been able to type in the text boxes, and I've had the game crash on me a couple of times. I'm not sure whether that was the game or the fact that I'm running beta drivers or something to do with a new overlay, but I, I, Tomb Raider did crash on me at one point. Uh, but anyway... So yeah, we talked about all that. Uh, there's also the gallery, which isn't working at the moment. This should be full of video clips that I've recorded, both manually, uh, manually recorded, and any clips I've saved out of the instant, uh, 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 the instant replay thingy. But for some reason, it's, it's it's just not showing me anything. I'm not sure whether it's broken or they haven't implemented this particular feature yet. I really, I should read the notes on the on the beta. I didn't, I didn't read anything. I just installed it and started playing. <laughs> but the uh, the idea is all your clips will be displayed here and from here you can select your clips and then do some basic editing sort of top and tail them and then upload them straight away to YouTube and stuff and when that's working I'll, I'll do a video on that I suppose but for now um, I just wanted to point out oh you can also turn on and off your camera uh, if you've, you can you set up your web camera to you know put your little face in one of the corners where you're playing if you want to record that way uh, you can also turn on and off the uh, the microphone um, and you can also turn push to talk on or off or always on or always off you know fiddle you know Make sure your, your, your microphone's doing the thing you want your microphone to do, basically. So a really nice and really, really quick way just to get straight to the important settings to do with the, uh, you know, the, the GeForce Experience uh, thing, particularly the, the, all the recording stuff, which I really like. I love being able to just dive in here and fiddle with the recordings to, depending on what I'm planning to do with the video file. So if I'm, I'm recording for a YouTube video, I'm going to go 1080p 60fps. If I'm just recording something quick and dirty, I want to squirt up to, uh, I, I don't know, Twitter or Vine or something. I, I may choose one of the you know little ones there at the 30 frames a second, or I can switch into 4K if I'm recording that for some reason. Um, it just makes it really, really, really quick and easy just to dive into that stuff instead of having to do what we used to have to do. And that would be sort of tab out to the desktop and, and bring up the GeForce experience and then go into the settings manually. Come on, load up for me. Do, 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 do. See, so no, you, know, you used to have to sort of dive down into these menus here and, and crawl into the settings and, and, and fiddle with the things and the stuff and things. Well, you don't need to do that anymore. You just go Alt-Z and bring it up and you go zap, zap, bibbidi bap, and there you're done. That, you know, that would have taken like two minutes before and that, what it took me, what, you know, 10 seconds? It's brilliant. Um... So if you've tried this, let me know how you go on. Let me know if the gallery is working for you guys, by the way. So like I said, I don't know whether it's broken for me or it's supposed to be broken. Um, and also, you know, uh, hit up N G NVIDIA on the on the Twitters. I think at uh, GeForce, at, at NVIDIA GeForce. I forget which one. I'll put it on the screen for you. There's a few different NVIDIA Twitters that, that handle different aspects of the thing. But, you know, talk to the GeForce people and let them know how you're going on with the whole thing. Because it is uh, open to, uh, to, you know, the public right now. It's a uh, early access beta, but anyone can install it and start playing with it in my experience aside from a couple of hiccups here and there has been sort of pretty rock solid and i'm really quite enjoying it so uh yeah do the thing where you with the buttons to to show your appreciation of you know me giving you a poke around here and uh and go ahead and drop a comment on on your experience with the new geforce what, what other features would you like to see in here by the way is there something missing that you that you want here because uh, now's the time to talk to, to tell them because it's it's beta and they're listening to the users and uh, waiting for feedback and things like that Thank you for watching. I am Ladia. We'll catch you next time. And please, again, show your appreciation. Do the, the button thingy and the comments. Bye.